Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of the BH Sales Kettle Cow Holistic Healing Hour with your host and moderator, me, Grandpa Bill. Welcome one and all. Some of you by our invitation were applicable. My two church mice, Peter and Paul, each and every day. Now six years in running, doing two audio shows, one entitled Workouts for Geriatrics, a.k.a. Silver Streakers, good for all kids from 1 to 92. Everything about health and wellness there, Maine, M-A-I-N-E, Cross Promotions, and Maine Mentor Moments in Business and in Life, mostly in life, now retired, and the Maine Cross Promotions are indigenous to Maine businesses that we talk about businesses here, but I'm also blessed with global exposure where that offer stands and many partaking in promoting businesses around the world, Main Street, Portland, Maine, Main Street, USA, Main Street everywhere, and my YouTube offering, which is what this is, is Bill Holt at 8792. Please do like us, share us, give us a thumbs up. More importantly, where you're comfortable in doing so, please continue to subscribe. We do grow one star seed at a time. And a quick announcement, and thank you for, it's you guys and gals, we are the little engine that could, we just surpassed a thousand subscribers at YouTube, so the little Legos, and I'll get to that in a moment, how important that is, one star seed at a time. And we grow exponentially with your help in doing so that way, always encompassing food for the mind, the body, and the soul. Going to segue right in here today. Welcome one and all, new, familiar, however you got here, continue to do so. Do the shows daily. This is kind of now at taping just about Sunday, October 7th. We're right at kind of the about a half hour before. So this is where I try to fetter out what's coming up for the week. And then I try to do the same premise at the end of the week. And I do do tapings each and every day, both within studio guests and, of course, without on a seven-day schedule. So to reiterate, they're never totally sequential and they're never totally at the same time frame because I do them worldwide and there's different geographic time zones. I have three repeat guests each and every month. Case in point, Tim Doyle, China, about a 12-hour uh, difference in time. He comes in between the two lunar cycles. He'll be coming probably next week, the week of the <laughs> the 21st, in between the next new moon, path to oneness, the golden ones. Uh, Byron Athene, psychotherapist, psychoanalyst from over in the United Kingdom. We tape the last Thursday of every month Time zone difference, 5 hours, 5 p.m. my time, 10 p.m. his time. Isabella Thor, same time zone back here, just north of the border from here in Maine, up in Halifax, women's nutritionist. Uh, again, we take the last Thursday of every month, and what we encompass there is her previous month's nutritional newsletter. I'll be doing a prelude show about about Byron, whatever we're going to be talking about next. I'm not quite sure what the subject will be yet. We're batting that around. Byron and I talked self-compassion the last time, and I'll be getting out prelude shows about them. And I'll continue with a prelude show, another one, about new friend and business constituent here in Maine, Tam Bayou. And these will be at my radio shows a little bit later. And I'm going to be <clears throat> doing an overview again of Tam as she does her monthly podcast with Janet Hickok. And I believe, I'm still trying to get that straight. I believe it's the third Wednesday of every month, case in point. I believe that's the 23rd and or the 30th of October, and Tam Bayou will be joining me at 1 p.m. after each of those shows as they commence. Last month, I just got the opportunity to get introduced to their Astro Junkie uh, podcast show, 
And as I invited Tam on in the interim and got her recording done and we got that all squared away with cyberspace and all kinds of crazy stuff, but we got some nice reels uh, out of it to get her entire initial interview, Tam, with me. So Tam's coming up. I'm going to expand upon Tam a little bit more as I get more and more familiar with her. And we'll probably go in the way of her energy healing book, Almanac, which I'll be a recipient of as they become released, I don't know, November, December, for the new year of 2025. It will obviously be my first book. And I know she's done a couple of years in those journals. I think 2023 might have been the first year of. Those are all the things we'll talk about. And being a recipient of Tam's newsletter as well, she gets into how to decode your birth chart by doing it yourself. And where I just got my own numerology and astrology chart from Tim Doyle, not too long ago. I just got one for my granddaughter for her birthday present that I still haven't been able to give her. I teased a little bit, complex in schedule. They're coming over this week, my son and granddaughter, to celebrate her birthday, which was like last Tuesday. That's life, <laughs> and they live like eight miles away, and I'm sure you guys and gals can relate to all that. These are the things we talk about. So as the week fetters out, I'll be doing a show about Tam, a prelude, getting more into her other... Uh, we talked exclusively about the healing spa, not, not to minimize that, the last time, but her breath of offerings, and I interviewed Sharon Little, who works in her office, and that's out and about. And um, I got to get out to virtually give her dad a formal invite. I kind of have... And again, he'll come through when his schedule allows, if he so desires, Ray Bayou. We'll be talking about him more. That's all part of my main cross-promotion program, which we'll be talking about at the radio shows a little bit later. So pertinent to Tam and the newsletter and getting into self-reading your birth charts, knowing your particulars to do so. You can locate and understand your sun sign. I'm a Pisces. I'll get into that. I believe mine is Taurus in, for the moon, but help you locate and understand the importance of your moon sign. And I believe mine is Taurus. And figure out why people <clears throat> look at you, her words, cross-eyed when you tell them you're not the sign that you thought you were. Aham, uh -huh. aham, hey, I'm going to teach you, meaning Tam, about your rising sun and why on earth you have to know it. It's subjects that I'm very much so a novice, but I know the jargon, and I kind of am in the same room when she's going to edify us all. So being self-ingratiating, she's going to make me understand my own in conjunction with Laura Eisenhower, Raquel Spring, Tim Doyle, now, Tam, we've got, and Janet, Janet, her partner over at the radio show, as I get to know them, and the, we have a lot of astrological experience, viewpoints, cumulatively, that's what we're going to talk about, yours, mine, and ours, continuing to spread the wealth. What we know, how we know it, what we do, <clears throat> that's good medicine. So more about Tam, more about other aspects of her life, her businesses, uh, prelude show about my aforementioned upcoming guests, and I have no idea what Tim and I are going to talk about next. We always figure that out and usually let the gods at the Path to Oneness and the Golden Ones determine that. I usually try to keep these YouTubes between 10 and 25 minutes. Deep calming breath. I'm going to have some fun with my new friends. I know a real bunch of wishes now, and, and I mean that literally and with all due respect. Penny, my really good friend who's at the helm, having some fun with her help, her input. <clears throat> Pardon me, because I'm also going to be going into revisiting meditation with cats. My two specifically, the history of, the reverence of, 
Also, black cats, witchcraft, their respect for um, the memes that Penny does at social media. If you check out my social media, you can backhandedly link and become familiar with Penny and the many witches. Imbolic, the terms autumnal, because, 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 <clears throat> when Tam was, Bayou was on my show, and when I first started to get to know her and we had a little preliminary meeting to come on the show, I told her in her energy healing book, she gets into a very artistic, with her own designs and costumes with artistic flair, about the planets and equating the planets through astrology with her designs of costumes, which she's very artistic on. I told her, I, I can't draw a stick, man. <clears throat> but <clears throat> Pardon me. But I came up with this idea to embrace the planets with the witches, whatever it may be, the garb, their spells, traditional folklore of Halloween, the real witches' input, broomsticks, pumpkins, autumnal, whatever Halloween is as far as creating having some fun to create garb, costumes, whatever, for the planets because both of those tie into a new ma mnemonic that I used with another bucket list program that I talk about all the time, Magnetic Memory Method, and Dr. Anthony Medivier, who's been on my show twice. So these are the things I do in retirement in lieu of whatever, world travel or whatever. And again, infinity, it's getting silly. Nobody, everybody's bucket list should be what they want. <clears throat> Pardon me. And we'll be talking more about Dr. Dustin Sulak and my certification in the program and going deeper. That's another bucket list as a home healer. A Reiki 2, Reiki 1 with him in studio. He's also a sensei Reiki master. So these are the things I talk about each and every day, and in the descriptions of all of my shows, the podcasts, the YouTubes, more and more at my social media, trying to get interaction, hopefully perceived as such, a couple of probing questions about whatever the subject matter is, as impending guests come on, what are you guys and gals finding out unique to those people, their offerings, those subjects, the good, the bad, and the ugly, we thrive alive to survive to find out what is working, what isn't, how can we help you. Alternative, intuitive groups, and the numbers are large. Again, I'm the little engine that could or whatever, but we did surpass a 1,000 subscribers, one star seat at a time. We plug in to the larger peripheral audience, yours, mine, ours. Most of my podcast guests are on board with this, theirs, ours, we're doing it together. That's a large peripheral audience, and buyer beware, I care a little bit. If you have a book, authors, what have you, that's how I've been blessed to welcome so many. It's the peripheral audience with the potentiality of exposure for your soup to nuts. And I'm entertaining more and more new guests coming up. And in closing, you know, I had a frenetic pace by choice a couple of years ago. I've interviewed over 200 guests in studio in the last two. I did interviewed 150 in studio last year alone, 120 of them at the Podmatch Arena alone. All Lego stepping stones to get to repeat guests, cutting back, getting more intensified, tightening up the network with those that really want to work with you and that's all good that's what that's all about yours mine and ours and those that respond i had a lot of women in business and women in health whom i've always supported most of them are deep archivally in youtube i'm trying to get those up to snuff and do a little bit of an anthology on those so that will be coming up as well so lots and lots to do by choice. The weekly coherence meetings, freedomsnap.org, guided there. Each and every Tuesday, Seth Leaf Brzezinski, the great Greg behind the scenes, keeping it all plugged in and that network spreading out. I'm awake, now what? All that peripheral work. Those folks, that intuitive group, those intuitive groups, 
like-minded individuals, and I have so many that I'm blessed to be members of. I haven't even started to talk about them this year yet. And that's potential, you know, larger audiences. Communally, arm in arm, that's how we abate all of this in the world at this precipice of time, and that's the way it's been done in the history of time. And it would be so counterintuitive to get back to good health to do it any other way. So that's our audience. That's who we seek out. That's who we basically deal with. That's who we encourage to lock arms with us. Yours, mine, and ours. We continue to support people, Main Street, Portland, Maine, Main Street, USA, Main Street, around the world, all wild animals being driven out of their natural environments. Rescue, feral pets, domesticated pets, their people, plants, this planet, soil integration, the toxicity. Hopefully this is perceived as a harbinger of good information. It won't be a universal consensus. Myself, I am the porcelain junction box with you guys and gals paying it forward and answering those probing questions. We thrive alive to survive together. And it blesses me to continue to put you in touch with butchers, bakers, candlestick makers, doctors, lawyers, authors, entrepreneurs, women's health experts, men's health experts, psychoanalysts, psychotherapists, Reiki masters, Bioscalar energy experts, tapping, all kinds of forms of modalities, jungle medicine. I've been blessed to have guests in all of those categories, which is the epitome of the patchwork quilt that apothecary and integrative and holistic medicine is. The patchwork quilt, the big jigsaw puzzle, the thousand piece snapping in synchronicity and working synergistically with all of these modalities. Again, indigenous medicine, Native American, jungle medicine, Malaysian medicine, Amazon jungles, Chinese, ancient Chinese, just to mention a few. Those are the subjects we continue to talk about. You grow one star seed at a time with your help. I continue to pay it forward. Join us each and every day, make it a stuff and productive day. Bye-bye for now, and may God bless. Peace, everybody.